in vector space P2, let vector A equal three plus T plus four T squared, and vector B equal negative five minus T squared. Notice here we're told P2 is a vector space, and therefore the five axioms of addition and five axioms of scalar multiplication, shown here in the upper right-hand corner, all hold true. If we take a look at our notes below, let P2 be the set of all polynomials of at most degree two, as well as the zero polynomial, to find addition to be the standard addition of polynomials, and scalar multiplication, the usual multiplication of a polynomial by a number, then P2 is a vector space. So for the first part, to find the linear combination negative three times vector A minus vector B, we simply substitute the polynomials for the vectors, which gives us negative three times vector A, which is the quantity three plus T plus four T squared, and then minus vector B is minus the quantity negative five minus T squared. And now we clear the parentheses by multiplying, distributing negative three, we have negative nine minus three T minus 12 T squared. And if it's helpful, we can think of subtracting vector B or subtracting the quantity negative five minus T squared as distributing a negative one, which gives us plus five plus T squared. And now combining like terms, notice how we have two constants and also two T squared terms. Negative nine plus five is negative four. Then we have minus three T. And then we have negative 12 T squared plus T squared, which is negative 11 T squared or minus 11 T squared. And then for the second part, in the vector space P2, find the additive inverse of the vector two minus six X minus two X squared. This will be the vector or polynomial that we add to this vector or polynomial that will result in the zero vector or zero which will be the opposite of two minus six X minus two X squared, which is equal to negative two plus six X plus two X squared. I hope you found this helpful.